mine, guys. It is a balmy 46 degrees. 46 degrees here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this gloomy Saturday, April 4th, 2020, uh, <laughs> where I am probably the only human being in the United States, if not the planet, holding an open house on my house uh, here in the collapse of the global industrial economy. But I do have a contract, a very shaky contract. Wish me luck. Oh, yes. So my name is Sam Mitchell, and this is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. And we are huddled in front of the propane furnace here on in April in Texas. Uh, and you have stumbled into the Coronavirus Chronicles, say. Used to be called Collapse Chronicles, this channel, but since there's only one story on the planet, we have uh, sort of renamed it the Coronavirus Chronicles. And I'm going to, uh, actually, since, uh, you know, I, I've already whittled it down from 5,000 to two. So I'm just gonna let, I'm just gonna read two stories right here from the mainstream media, and I'm gonna let you draw your own dots. You can connect your own dots between these two stories and the corona panic, the collapse of the global industrial economy, uh, because of the panic, not because of the virus, because of the panic, and the potential for Mad Max. All right, see if you can figure out what the connection is between these two stories yourself. Should we start off with food or guns? Let's start off with food. All right. Corona panic may cause some food shortages, warns government task force. Yes. The nation could begin to see food shortages for some products if the people working on these supply chains lack personal protective equipment, otherwise known as PPE. It took me the longest time to figure out what PPE meant. Uh, warns an internal Trump administration document obtained by Yahoo News. Empty supermarket shelves have become one of the most jarring images of the corona panic, which has now sickened 270,000 Americans and killed 7,000. But so far, there have been no food shortages. Huh. I guess they don't consider simply limeade to be food. So far, there have been no food shortages, despite 90% of the American population being under state-enforced lockdown orders. And despite the difficulty people have had in obtaining certain foods like pasta, Grocery stores are generally well stocked. Government officials have argued that any temporary shortages are the result of unprecedented demand as people have bought more than usual rather than actual supply chain breakdowns. This is sunny per day. The sunny per sunny per day. The Secretary of Agriculture two weeks ago, quote, I want to assure you that our food supply chain is sound. With a name like Sonny Perdue uh, working for Donald Trump, yeah, you can really, really believe that one. That, however, could change if the people who make, package, and deliver our food lack personal protective equipment, or PPE, including face masks and gloves, 
according to the internal document, <clears throat> which provides a daily update on various aspects of the corona panic response, including details ranging from state-by-state state infections to hospital capacity, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> the document titled Senior Leadership Brief Corona Panic and dated April 2nd, bears the seals of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, otherwise known as the dreaded FEMA, the Department of Homeland Security, and the Department of Health and Human Services. It contains a brief description of findings made by the Food Supply Chain Task Force on the availability of PPE. Such equipment has been in short supply at hospitals where doctors and nurses are exposed to high amounts of coronavirus. The food industry also relies on a variety of protective equipment for our food safety. <clears throat> the April 2nd briefing warns that the task force had, <coughs> had completed an analysis and there could be, quoting the report, quote, commodity impacts if current PPE inventory is exhausted, close quote. In that case, there would be shortages of milk within 24 hours, if you don't own a cow, and of fresh fruits and vegetables, if you don't have a garden and orchard, Quote, within several days, the document estimates that meat, poultry, seafood, and processed eggs, if you don't have a chicken, would become scarce within a period of two to four weeks, while dry goods and processed foods inventories, that is, those non-perishables that are pantry staples, could become scarce, according to the report, as soon as four weeks after face masks and gloves run out across the food supply chain. The, doc the document is just a warning. The document is a warning and is not descriptive of our current situation. There are no signs of a food shortage across the nation, but the corona panic is putting strain on every aspect of the food supply chain, from the people who raise and grow what we eat to the people who deliver it to our supermarkets. HuffPost reported on Friday that poultry producer Sanderson Farms has disclosed that 11 of its workers have become ill with the virus in six different poultry processing plants across the country. <clears throat> in revealing the illness among Sanderson's employees, the company's president underscored the importance of keeping grocery stores well stocked. Quote, we call upon you to look at this crisis as an opportunity to serve, as we do, wrote Lampkin Butts in a letter to his employees. I wonder if Lampkin Butts is any relation to Harry Butts grocery uh, stores here in Texas. Uh, now, more than ever, we need to come together as a company animation and continue to provide the critical supply of food we all need. Officials from FEMA, HHS, and Homeland Security did not respond to a request for comment. Uh, said one senior Trump administration official, quote, we are not seeing any disruptions. Of course, he did not want his name used next to that uh, knee slapper. <clears throat> uh, la, 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 la. This would, uh, let's see, 
then they start talking about PPE and hospitals. Uh, they go off track for a while, then they get back. Okay, the needs of food supply chain workers could further complicate the availability of face masks and gloves. Quote, this is Daniel Stanton, a supply chain expert who goes by Mr. Supply Chain and is the author of Supply Chain Management for Dummies. Maybe we should have this man on the show. Quote, you've got the medical supply chain and the food supply chain, and both are now pulling on the PPE supply chain. How do you prioritize PPE for food workers and truck drivers versus people working in the hospital? That is a tough decision to make, but food is kind of a big deal, too. Yes, food is kind of a big deal. Food economist Shub Dabupta, who has pointed out that the corona panic could imperil our food supply, told Yahoo News that the United States, quote, came into the whole virus outbreak with a relatively strong position because of the China trade war, lots of fro frozen foods were in storage for a long time and we had a cushion we could rely on. That is disappearing now. While he agreed with the government's previous statements about the food supply chain, he did caution that the situation could change in the coming weeks. Like Stanton, he cited the movement of food down the supply chains. Uh, my computer would like to give me my story back for the last paragraph. <clears throat> Come on, computer. <clears throat> Like Stanton, he cited the movement of food down the supply chain as the biggest potential problem. Quote, a few weeks or a month ago, we were fine. We are fine. The issue really is in the distribution. If we don't address that, the movement of people and goods, we will be in quite a lot of trouble. Yes, do you think so? So you can draw your... So imagine you are a panicked sheeple reading that story and just, you know, assuming that the grocery stores were no longer going to have food in a few weeks, which is exactly what the editors of that story want you to think. <clears throat> So you can make your own, draw your own dots between that story and this one from the good old NBC News. <clears throat> Corona panic pushes U.S. gun sales to an all-time high. Firearms sales and federal background checks for purchases soared to an all-time high in March as the corona panic brought buyers out in record numbers even though gun dealers were included in orders shutting down businesses in some states. The FBI conducted 3.7 million background checks last month according to its latest figures the highest total since the National <clears throat> Instant Check System for Gun Buyers was launched in 1998 and 1.1 million higher than the number conducted in March of last year. The period of March 17th to the 21st was an especially busy period for the background check system. More than 210 
background checks were conducted on March 21st alone, the record for a single day. The March figure also topped the previous high of 3.3 million set in December of 2015 after the Obama administration raised the prospect of restricting assault weapons after the deadly mass shooting in San Bernardino, California. Small Arms Analytics and Forecasting, a consulting firm that tracks the firearms market, said the March queries to the background check system translated to nearly 2.6 million guns sold last month. The share of handgun sales was also the highest ever with nearly twice as many handguns sold as rifles and shotguns. This is uh, Jurgen Brower, chief economist for the firm. Quote, we have seen an absolutely enormous spurt in handgun sales. You have state-by-state state variations, but for the nation as a whole, an absolutely unprecedented boost in handgun acquisition, close quote. Andrew Erolandam, spokesman for the National Rifle Association, said the, pan the corona panic has many Americans concerned that they cannot depend on police for protection. Quote, people are worried with law enforcement stretched to the maximum, now responding to only selected calls. They realize that when bad things happen, it is going to be up to them to be able to defend themselves and their families. Close quote. An industry official who asked not to be identified by name said gun dealers report that many of the sales in March were made to first-time buyers. A, deal, a dealer in New York who saw the surge develop before a statewide order to shut down gun sales which the NRA is now suing the state of New York for claiming that gun sales are not an essential business during a panic. Uh, said he was getting many more women cust customers than usual. Some cities and states sought to include firearms dealers and ordering local businesses to close during the pandemic, but in response to lobbying by gun rights groups, the Department of Homeland Security added firearms-related employees to the essential workforce list, which is advisory only. And, uh, you know, Cuomo overrode that advisory and shut down the gun sales in New York, uh, you know, when lines were wrapped around the building and the NRA is suing. <clears throat> Some states have nevertheless chosen to close gun stores, including New York, Massachusetts, and New Mexico, though some dealers are still continuing to sell online. In Washington State, Governor Jay Inslee left gun dealers off the list of essential businesses, but some dealers stayed open anyway. Closure orders elsewhere prompted a string of lawsuits which argued that shutting them down violated the U.S. Constitution's Second Amendment. Gun control groups have supported the closure orders a bit. Quote, there is no constitutional right to immediately buy or sell guns, and there certainly is no right to spread coronavirus while buying or selling guns, said Chris Brown of the Brady Campaign. <laughs> oh yeah, anybody who does not understand how the 
corona panic uh, at this point uh, is not a window into Mad Max. Uh, not that I had any doubt uh, about uh, the eruption of Mad Max coming uh, to a global industrial civilization near you, but uh, with each passing day, uh, this is, this, well, it's, it's more than a snapshot in Mad Max. Uh, we, this is an excellent uh, opportunity for people chronicling the collapse of global industrial civilization and the arrival of Mad Max to understand what it's going to look like when a quote real, real uh, panic uh, grips this planet. If you think we're you know, on planet fear now, just just give it a give it about five or six years, uh, or five or six weeks. Anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up by this edition of the Coronavirus Chronicles. If you enjoyed this little peek into Mad Max. Uh, Please take a few seconds to thumb up this video and please subscribe to the Corona Panic Chronicles while you're over here. And uh, with that, I'm going to wrap this up. And unbelievably, over on the science pages over at BBC, I actually found some Collapse Chronicles uh, stories uh, that do not mention the C word, believe it or not. Uh, the BBC, unlike any other media organization, uh, is actually continuing to report. Uh, I will be back with that one in just one minute. Bye guys.